All right, part three, part three of the keyboard lab packet. This begins with Yankee Doodle. And if you notice, there's a lot more pink, which means a lot more left hand. So we're gonna start by playing right hand and then a little bit of left hand and it's gonna go back and forth. So this begins the first part of our butterfly fingers. And butterfly fingers is just this. Take your hand out like this, right hand and left hand, and put the thumbs on top of each other, like a butterfly, right? This means both of your thumbs are gonna go on the same C note, but your right hand's gonna be here, and your left hand's gonna be here. Are you gonna play both thumbs at the same time? Never, it's always gonna be either the left hand plays the thumb or the right hand plays the thumb. And remember, that's always a number one. So here is Yankee Doodle, the first one. confused right there. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> what happens sometimes is you might be reading it and go, okay, one, and then you're thinking my thumb here is going to be on this key. And that's what I thought right there. And I was like, oh no, it's actually going to be this key right here. The difference between the right and left hand on paper looks like they're pretty far apart, but there's only one note. This note right here and this note right here in reality are right next to each other on the piano, even though it looks like they're spaced out. They do that in music because it, they expect it's going to be easier to read, but sometimes it's not. So here's with the holds. Hold, hold. Hold, hold. So that's Yankee Doodle. Piece number two now of part three is London Bridge. Remember, London Bridge is falling down. So you see a lot more pink. It's going to go back and forth. And same butterfly position on C. Now with holds. Also, one of the things you may notice with a lot of these songs is the last note you play is generally a hold note. It is good practice, even if it is not, to hold it just a little bit longer and then lift up because it kind of when you perform, it's one of those things where you have a piece lasts a little bit so everyone knows, okay, the piece is finally done when it's just held just a little bit longer in the end. All right, piece number three. There's quite a bit of pieces in this one. There's a hole in my bucket. Now this is probably the longest piece if you repeat it with all of these words, but you're not gonna have to do that. You just have to play through this. But most of the time, if you play piano and you have someone singing, you will keep playing it over and over again, what you're playing, and they're gonna keep singing new words to it every single time. So there's a lot of repetition, but that's good because if it's something you learn how to play, that doesn't mean you have to play something different every single time. You can memorize what your hands do, and then you won't have to play by reading music. You can just memorize patterns. Same thing, butterfly on C, and here we go. It's a little bit faster. Hold. 
Now this piece is generally played a lot faster, so I'm gonna try to do that. Here we go, and I'm gonna count. It's a, it's a one, two, three count, so I'm just gonna count myself in. One, two, three, one, two. So you can see how that goes on and on. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in my bucket, and then they go, what shall I fix it? What shall I fix it, dear Henry, dear Henry, da, 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 and over and over again. Song number four, The Baby Bumblebee, or known as Arkansas Traveler lots of pink and yellow and then at the end a new color and this means you play both hands at the same exact time so you play a two in the right hand and a two in the left hand so make sure you know your finger numbers if you have to recheck it always go back to the beginning it tells you right there and here we go butterfly fingers <laughs> I slow down to play the big ending part because it's a lot of left hand. So definitely have to practice this to get this right. Now I'm going to play it with the holds. Notice there was no hold at the end. All right, so that generally is gonna be played probably a little bit faster uh, too, but that's definitely something you have to work on your left hand with. My left hand is not as fast as my right hand, but uh, I'm getting there. Now the last piece of part three is probably the most famous piece in the world. And I usually tell the story about this, that uh, Happy Birthday is not sung in restaurants on TV, on the radio, because there's a company that owns this song. This song was originally made, I believe, in the 1930s, and it wasn't a birthday song. It was made for Thanksgiving. And then they just adopted the melody and made it into a birthday song. So what do they sing before that for birthdays? Hmm. So this probably is probably the most famous song because everyone seems to have a birthday, right? So that you learn how to play this and uh, go to parties and play it for somebody. It does have two parts at the end where hands work together. So, and it does a lot of left hand. So stay on same thing, butterfly on C and here we go. something called a fermata, which means you just hold it a little bit longer, you wait. Now this part, when I do this together, my left hand holds, my right hand doesn't. Put it together. All right, so that's part three, and that finishes the entire packet. And definitely, if you want more pieces like this, in the last week, I will show you where I got all these pieces, and there are thousands of them. All right, see you soon.